Sponsored by Hal's Blackjack. Because Hal is the man. <laughs> All right, we're here. Black yes, Chat episode. Fuck, I don't even know. And is it 101? 101. 101. I think it's uh, episode 101. It we 101. had our 100th episode with the well, guy Moise. Moise. Thank you, Moise. Once again. Last, week's, last week's episode. Um, a this Boogie is, with the hoodies. Yeah, A Boogie. Engineer. Engineer. Found him in a deli in the Bronx. Shh. Crazy story. Maybe Hal's. I think they met at Hal's. They were what? House. At the deli? At the house deli. Oh, and, oh Yeah, with maybe. the drink. Yeah, house. Oh, there, there you go. Um, shout to Moise. So this is episode 101. Uh, three of four here. Uh, Perfection couldn't make it. She's she's stuck at the studio. At the studio. Um, getting some work done. Stuck with a couple clients. Um, but uh, the three of us are here. Glam, welcome back. <laughs> What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Glam's here. Atlas mm-hmm. the Plug is yes, here. Yes, sir. I'm here. You know, I'm here. Thank God. We're here. For so another um, day. First of all, shout to uh, shout to all of our listeners, uh, our faithful listeners of Blab Chat. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, shout to our subscribers if you're listening to us on iTunes or SoundCloud or watching us on YouTube. We really appreciate you guys. Um, if this is your first time or if you're new to new to us, welcome. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you fuck with our podcast. Um, you know, we're here to talk about. Um, you know everything and anything that has to do with music, business, uh, music production. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you're an artist, a singer, songwriter, producer, rapper, whatever it is you do, or maybe just a casual music fan, uh, we're here for you, and uh, we like talking about a lot of different things. So uh, again, we re- highly recommend you guys if you're new to go back and listen to some of our older episodes. Uh, we there's a lot of information in there, I think. You start know, from one, just go f- start, start from one. Start from binge. one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Start from one, go from there. Um, binge watch, binge listen and we'll, and you know, I guarantee you you'll find some stuff in there that will be uh, helpful to you guys. Also, um, we will be on Spotify very soon. Uh, we're setting up that transition. I got a couple special things. Mm-hmm. Kind of lined up for mm-hmm. Spotify. Um, I, I was I was building um, with my guy um, Tune Day over there, um, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a special thing. So uh, can't wait to show you guys how that works. But um, yeah, man, we're mm-hmm. here. How are you guys feeling? Amazing. Alive. 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 Blessed. That's a good. That's a good. Alive thing, is uh, key. Alive that's, is key. You know, it's a none must. of this fatality. No fatalities, that, please. We've had enough of those. Right. Um, Glam, how, I know you're commuting now. What was, I mean, it's obviously the commute is always I mean, pretty yeah, wild. spending a whole day buying tickets for a whole day of travel is not, um. When did you leave? I what leave, time? I left at 10.30. 10.30 a.m. hmm Oh, to my. To get here. God. And go back. That, wow. Okay. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do something about that. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna do something. Let's do a GoFundMe. We're gonna get her a helicopter. Yeah, we're gonna do some. (laughs) She needs a helicopter. Got to land in her backyard. We need the Black Chat Custom Private Jet. We have to get that for her. I wish private helicopter. That would be dope as fuck. That would be dope as fuck, man. Black Chat Jet. (laughs) Exactly. The Black Jet. Exactly. So listen, guys. A lot of stuff has happened. First of all, I want to start off by uh, announcing a few things. So um, my Throne Loops contest is. Ongoing. All right. So um, basically, all you gotta do is go to blabkits.com, go get that Throne Loops sample pack I dropped a couple weeks ago. I'm running a contest right now, just like the Goat Loops contest. Nice. Deadline is May 19th. So cop the pack, make a beat, post it up on your Instagram, hashtag Goat Loops, um, sorry, not Goat Loops, uh, Throne Loops contest, hashtag, and then make sure you at blabkits, B L A P K I T S. With your submission, and then on May nineteenth, that's our deadline. It's also the final episode of Game of Thrones, which I know oh. you don't watch. Atlas, Clem, do you watch Game of Thrones? I haven't. Watched. Are you caught up? 
Nope. That no. looks like okay, a no. So no, no. Kill like, no. me. Damn it. Chop you my nipples yeah, Glam, off I'm and with pin you, me up I'm with somewhere. You. I don't fucking know. Nah. Every time okay. I see on Twitter, I'm like, <laughs> Game of Thrones. I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm an, an official. I'm like, going to get into it, though. I mean, like, it's enough seasons that I can just binge watch this shit now, right? Now so. you can binge. Start from season one. You know. Yeah. Oh, Who's going to be like, I need to do season four and make my way down? Like, no. <laughs> like no. what? No. Start, start, start from there. Take your time with it. Binge it. Um, but I, I'm a, an official, you know, Game of Thrones fanatic. So, but shout out to you guys who watch it. Obviously, we're not going to spoil anything, but what a crazy episode! You know, mm -hmm. this next episode is is a is a huge turning point. So, um, yeah, man, shout to shout to Game of Thrones, Throne Loops. Go get that. Also, too, still on the road. Mm -hmm. um, I just got back from Miami. I did a three city little tour run for Past the Ox. Um, I was in Tampa. Uh, Miami and Atlanta for two days. Uh, I, I'm gonna call him Dur. I'm gonna call you Jay Durian from now on. <laughs> That's Jay Jules's new name, Jay Durian. Jay Jules. So Jay Durian was with me in Atlanta and in uh, Tampa. That was fun, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great time. So what I'm doing, guys, if you've been living under a rock, I've basically been traveling to different cities every month, two or three different cities, and I'm booking secret studio locations in each city and inviting 20 to 30 upcoming music producers and artists to come in and vibe with me, vibe with each other, plug in the aux, play some music, listen to some constructive criticism, answer questions, uh, vibe with each other. It's really an amazing um, experience for, for all of us, um, myself included. I'm inspired every time. And uh, it, it was just such a great, group of people so I've been doing this for about almost going, going on two years mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know I think we've sat down with more than 600 producers at this point and they're all keeping in touch with each other which is amazing and you know on this podcast we talk a lot about building with your peers and and you know collaborating with each other mm -hmm. and and this is I'm, I'm discovering that this is an amazing way to to do that um, so I'm really honored to to meet you guys. I'm still on the road. Um, I'm about to announce some new cities for July, August, September, October, November, and December. So look out for those cities that I'm coming to. Uh, but for now, uh, this month, I'll be going to Germany, uh, May 17th, which is sold out. And then I'll do London on the 20th, sold out. And then London on the 21st of May. There's like two tickets left for that. So if you're in London and you're listening to this right now and you want to meet me on May 21st along with some of your peers. Better hurry. Hurry up because there's hurry, two hurry. tickets left. Uh, they might be gone by the time you listen to this. But go ahead and check <laughs> illmindproducer.com, I-L-L-M-I-N-D, producer.com to get your tickets and then in June uh, June 21st I'll be in Vancouver Canada can't wait to do that uh, June 24th I'll be in Seattle June 25th I'll be in Portland and then June 26th and 20 uh, I'm sorry June 27th and 28th I'll be in San Francisco so those tickets are still available, so go to illmindproducer.com if you want to go to those. And then, again, I'm announcing some new cities very soon. It's a good time. Uh, what about you guys? At what, what do you have going on, bro? Uh, we just wrapped up the tour, uh, Respect the Engineer tour with Fire. Cruz, which was amazing. Um, we just I just did a, a beat battle with uh, Nick Paps. How'd that go? It was dope. Really, really dope. Dude, the talent is crazy. Yeah. Um, Soultronic won. Congrats to Soultronic. Soultronic. Soul T R O N I K. Okay. Soultronic, right? Is that spelled right? Yeah. would have been um, after that. Yeah, oh. yeah, you would think. Yeah, but he spells it with a K at the end. K but he, at the end. Yo, he. <laughs> there was Killed that one. He played this one joint. It was the. Um, um, Shy, remember the R&B group Shy from back yeah. in the day, yeah. Yeah. and it had a song, uh, da da doop da doop, that song, ooh, da da doop. Yo, very, he sped that time. up and did. So oh my god, nice! It was so hard. I was just, I literally was like, I looked at Nick like, holy shit, this is wow. crazy. Wow! But that was great. Um, also, uh, the 23rd of this month, I'm doing the open mic. Um, Sick. Yep. Plug up. Uh, open mic on the 23rd in New York. And that's for artists, producers. Rappers, singers, producers uh, can come up and literally just do whatever they want. Nice. Um, so if you're interested in that, just follow me, Atlas the Plug, on all social media, and the link will be in my bio. 
Um, and then, yeah, we're working on a new um, tour for the Respect the Engineer Tour, nationwide tour. That's nice. going to be coming up soon. I'll start announcing those dates. And uh, something really cool. I'm, Are you I, sure you want to spill I'm not going to spill it right okay, now, but yet. I mentioned it, me and Ill, I was telling Ill about it uh, in the Blap Room. But this is going to be retarded. Um, but that'll be next week. I'll announce that one. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So next episode. Yeah, so, so if anyone's interested, follow me, Atlas the Plug, A-T-L-A-S the Plug. Uh, and that's it. Nice. Glam, what you've been working on? How's the music? Um, I know you're relocated yeah, right I've now. Yeah, I've relocated. How's the um, adjustment? It's different, but I'm about to, I'm moving around. So yep. I'm going to be, oh, you fucking up. Oh, fucking oh. up. God damn it. Josh Battery's is fucking out. up. Hold on. I it's have a to moment. Stop. We got to start again. Up. Rewind. Pick the shit up right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Shit just got oh, real okay, in here, guys. Mind. It just got Glam, real in here. Guys. <laughs> Glam, Glam, Glam just got real DC Glam, on you. Glam ain't playing. Oh, oh, it's been a DC, son. The claw out. The claw is out. The claw, out. son. No, I just wanted to pick on Jash. Um, <laughs> it's Jay Durian. Now, I like he's Jash. His name. Jash. 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 I'll, I'll never stop calling you Jash. Jash. Oh, has, has she seen the t-shirts? The the. I don't think no. you've seen them yet. Did we bring any? No. Do we have? No. Any? Yeah, we had. No. We, we have, have one for her. For, it's in the. It's glam. in the black room. Okay. okay. Yeah. We'll okay, whip so, it out. Oh, in the you got uh, Okay. So, so, so really anyway, quickly. Continue. Um, <clears throat> On a life note, I was in L.A., um, and I went to Oakland, who I, I visited my grandfather. He's 101 years old. Oh, wow. wow. Clap it up for that. 101 years old. Wow. Amazing. Um, I saw my dad, too, uh, so I saw family. And then Amazing. Um, literally before I left, the day I was supposed to go to Vlap Chat, I um, actually did a uh, exclusive with SoundCloud and Adidas Originals. Um, I'm on Adidas Originals right now. My song Humans there you go. is out. Um, Sick. They, Come on. Out. Uh, they follow certain independent artists who work nine to fives, and they explain what the nine to five is versus the five to nine, which is mm. when you go wow. off. So I went into my jobs, I went into my work and what I do, and they followed me around, and SoundCloud definitely hooked me up with the shoes and a free sweater and Amazing. put me on the site. So shout-outs to them, and go get um, go check out Humans on uh, my SoundCloud. Amazing. Um, and also, the last I finished my last song for my project wow. last, last night. So wow. lots of new shit lot coming. Of new shit. Yeah, so I'm not gonna, new music coming soon. Go to SoundCloud. Amazing. That's all I got going. That's all I'm going to say right now. So they go I to mean, SoundCloud and they type in, what do they type in SoundCloud? They can type in Glam is here. Glam that's is here. That's my so, name yeah. still, as of now. Okay. That's yeah. all we're going to keep cool. doing. But Make sure, and, and if you guys don't know if you've been living under a rock, once again, you know, Glam is one of my favorite artists. I'm like super, I'm, I'm like really, I'm not even <laughs> low-key obsessed. I'm really obsessed with her music. So every time, I, I like when I ask her questions, I'm like a, a fan first. So I'm like mm. waiting for music. So I, I personally haven't heard anything yet, but... I'm gonna go download that Just once it's on iTunes. And you've been you saying that for four or years. five years. I know, that's this what I'm like, not, it's gonna get really, this it's is gonna not be not like annoying. him just saying, I've heard him say that three, four know, years ago. It's crazy. A consumer is probably like, yeah. okay, well she needs to fucking put some music out already. Right. If, right. Like, right. if he's, if, she, if he, that's his favorite artist, who the fuck is she? Right. Well, bitch, right. I'm about to show you. Yeah, okay. bitch. Right. That's right. That's right. Glam ain't fucking around yeah, no, today. I'm around. loving this. This no. is awesome. Glam always had the fire, but I feel like DC like woke the yeah, fire up yeah, maybe yeah. a little more or something. A lot, of, a lot of things recently too, and I hate to like get morbid, but you know, just watching what happened in Nipsey, I think yeah, a lot man. of people are just willing to take their chances on the things that they've been sitting on. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I was already working towards that, but I feel like just that happening definitely put something different in a lot of people, losing yeah. somebody like that who did so much so yeah. it's just like you gotta you gotta leave something behind if we all if we're all gonna go like you mm -hmm. need to leave something so it's so interesting Sorry. you say that because I, I was thinking about this last week about i read this somewhere about like memories and how you know we're all really nothing without memories yeah if you really think about it like yep. if, if all of our brains were to be wiped out right now and our memories would be gone, then there would be no history. Mm -hmm. yeah. There would be no relationships. We wouldn't really know each other. Mm -hmm. So really, and, and, and that happens also after we're gone. Like look at Nipsey, you know, mm -hmm. like his memory and his impact mm -hmm. will live on forever mm -hmm. through us because yep. yeah. as human beings and as, you know, his peers and people, you know, and we look up to him, we remember exactly. his impact and, yeah. and that's sort of spread, his energy is spreading. And so we're nothing without our, without our memories. And mm -hmm. so that got me to thinking about, so, okay, so if memories are, are the most important thing for us and we are at the mercy of creating memories 
over time, then that makes time the most valuable currency in Literally, life. Literally, that's the Super Kanye. Fact. That's the, well, not the one thing, but one of the few things Kanye has said is time is the one thing. That's the only luxury you do have is time because it's the one thing you can't get back. Can't get so back. So it's very important to use it wisely. Like yeah. you know, Childish Gambino spoke on that at on his Coachella performance as well. And the, even though it was kind of morbid, I kind of I <laughs> yeah. kind of felt what he was saying because he was like, you know, his dad just died and you know, Mac just died, Nipsey just died. And he was like, it just made me realize like we're all just memories. Like we're all mm-hmm. just, you know, coexisting with one another. And he was like, the reality is, is like, he was like, there's like what, half a million people in here right now? He's like, some of you guys might not make it till next week. Yeah, that was real. He was like, I so felt that. while you're here, I was like, God, yeah, that's man. scary, but it's, mortality it's, is real. Mm-hmm. It's like, true. It's, real. it's so true. And also you said some interesting glam about First of all, congrats on the Adidas SoundCloud you, thing. Man. That's fucking awesome. Appreciate yeah. it. Shout I'm out glad... to Adidas and SoundCloud. Shout That's to cool. Adidas, man. I'm glad they hooked you up with yeah. some, some shit, too. But um, are you wearing it right now? I, I looked I look, <laughs> I I like, look down just like, did I wear those shoes no, today? No, today. I didn't. But they gave me this really nice, like, orange SoundCloud crew neck. Oh, like a little and exclusive And it has this little joint. cloud just like, boop. It's so nice. That's hard. Yeah. That's tight. They, could, they, should, they, they have merch, but I'm like, you guys could, like... Really they could push really that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Could push that so it, I like the campaign idea about artists that have a nine to five and then talk about the five to nine because mm-hmm. the five to nine, Key. aka like the side, I won't even call it a side hustle. The mm-hmm. real, the real job, hustle, the That's real job, the real job, the day job is the side hustle guys. Let's yeah. be right. real. Mm-hmm. But in your case, glam, like obviously you've been doing this for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, the five to nine thing is real for you. So what are what are some things that like, you know, you think that other people also going through the same thing, which is probably most people listening yeah. right now. What what are some things you're learning along the way in terms of like the five to nine hustle and balancing that with the nine to five? I mean, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing, but you make your own schedule. So it's good if you are, you know, structuring yourself, but it can also get sloppy real fast and mm. You know, you might get tired this day. You might not. You know, for me right now, I'm able to be where I'm making my own schedule. But sometimes I just want to chill. Like sometimes yeah. you need that little moment. But finding the balance is almost like that's a day to day thing. It's right. like you can't even. You could plan a day, and then it, well, it might not go like that. Right. So you kind of just have to chuck that like to the game. Like there's just going to be your good days and your bad days. But yeah. you if in if you have your mind on what you need to do at all times, that's what makes the difference. So when I, I talk about it on the podcast, like, oh, while I was cleaning, you know, or while I am cleaning, I have to think about all the other shit that I'm doing and and not in look your at real that, career, in the real, in my real career and not take this moment as like, damn, I'm like, you know, not taking it for how I'm feeling like oh you know right. all my peers are doing this and doing that I'm cleaning houses like right. my friends are doing this and you know they're really getting money and it's just like damn what am I doing but right. it's like everybody's path is their own mm-hmm. so you have to figure it out on yourself uh, for yourself um, right. and I think as long as you just keep applying that time if you don't do something like every day to keep it going Mm -hmm. this this is just yeah you're gonna you're gonna start feeling shitty you're gonna start feeling like what am i doing why did i do this but like even if it's an hour even if even Mm -hmm. if that was all you could give to your day Mm -hmm. that's progress even if it was getting on the phone just to make sure that that shit that you talked about last week with homeboy or whatever like confirm it make sure that follow through follow up Mm -hmm. but it comes from your you have to do the work like ain't nobody gonna do the work for you so yeah. Creating your schedule. That's like, a good point. Uh, but also too, Glam, you're you know, you're you're a little bit you're special because, you know, no. obviously like your music, you're not just like a producer who just like makes beats all day. No. You're <laughs> like you're making songs, you're artist. an artist. Yeah, you're making art. <laughs> so like yeah. you can't necessarily force yourself to like, okay, I'm gonna like make a song tonight. No. Sometimes you feel it, sometimes you don't. And that's mm-hmm. the that's and, the but part too. a lot of I've and do you agree with this? Like do you feel like a lot of your inspiration for the pen and for concepts and for beats comes from some of the hardships in life and the good stuff too yeah. kind of wrapped into yeah, one right always um, cause I mean like you have people too that are just like sitting there like I have people in my family that's just like what's taking so long and it's just yeah. like I'm making the beat. I'm mixing the beat. I'm recording yeah. myself. This mm-hmm. is not like 1986 where you just walked into the studio and was like a hubba hubba and that was it. Like, no, I'm really doing this shit. So it's mm-hmm. like, 
I try to be mindful of that. I feel like it's an age gap thing too. We're just yeah. like, what's the problem? True. You, you look how you look. You're great. You rap. You spit. You know. You see so and so making their money. So so and so's on Instagram getting her money. It's like, yeah. But I'm not so and so on Instagram. Exactly. Like I'm more than that. And I think that's kind of like, that's that's I think owning like own it, owning it owning, and it, owning yeah. it like in general because I had this conversation with a good friend of mine who used to manage me and this was in the bay she was I was telling her I was like I feel like I got everything else except for like social media that just be my that be my downfall that's my thing I can't get in the pocket with and she mm-hmm. was like she was like that is your pocket she was like being out of pocket is your pocket she was like sometimes and she was like you've yep. been inconsistent but that's your consistency you're living life you're going through things you're putting out music when you can. She was like, Do you, you know, if you align yourself with these J. Coles and these Kendricks, they're not on it either. So it's not to right. say, oh, look at them, you're like them, but like you speak to the type of person that they speak to as well. So I had to yeah. start owning that too. Like I'm not going to be pressured into posting or letting people know. I'm going to choose what I want people to know and what and what I want them to feel. But yeah. I'm not going to let nobody just be like, oh, you know, you know, you could get a little sexy. You know, you could show a little booty on the gram real quick. Right. It's just like right. I can, but you know what? When I do, it's because I wanted to. Not because people are like, oh, you mad exactly. sexy, show a nigga a nipple. Like, right. no, yeah, it's not happening today. It right. might not ever happen, but I can't if it does, someone would have the audacity of to ask me for a that. nipple. It's well, like, no, on. I've had I've had a few people. I've had a few guys like if I do post something cool, they're like, see, I knew, you know. Yeah. It's just like, it's it's yeah, like, it's, it's harmless. It's obvious, but, but it's yeah. just like that's not like, and it's no diss to what is happening now, but. A majority of these female rappers, they just throwing ass. Like oh, they yeah. have bars, but they're 100%. throwing tons and tons of ass into the, into the equation. Mm-hmm. And if that's not what I want to be about, fine. Exactly. We can all coexist. It ain't no thing. Like it's not a big exactly. Deal, right? And that see, that's a key word you use. I think coexisting, mm-hmm. right? And we uh, another thing we talk a lot about on this podcast is like comparing yourself to mm-hmm. people. I feel like that is probably the top three like most problematic. Uh, things that we're all doing mm-hmm. as artists yeah. whether you're a producer rapper whatever and it's really easy to compare yourself because we're on social media a lot mm-hmm. and we, we're seeing other people's lives but we're only seeing Choosing what the good stuff choose. we're only seeing the stuff that they choose for us mm-hmm. to see right and so we don't we don't know or we have to remind ourselves sometimes that oh J. Cole or oh you know this person that I compare myself to that's a little more successful than me is also going through their own you know, hardships or their own thing or their own struggle. You know, you'd be surprised too. Like, a lot of people look like they're getting money out here. They're not really getting as much money as you no. think. Yo, real talk though, and everybody goes through shit. Yes. Every me, ill, you, mm-hmm. JJ, Jules, Corbin, everybody goes through shit in their lives. So, like, one thing that really I try not to be around and, and you guys are the same as me like we just not around with that energy like yeah. people who are just always complaining yeah. and always like always down yo how's everything yo this is fucked up today you know what I mean yeah. like yeah. all the time I can't even be around people I like that yeah. I, I snap on I them I, 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 me too <laughs> yeah. I snap yeah. on them I'll be like yo them. yo me too I'm like yo really I'm like no so and then and then, and then they say when they say to me people yo, how you doing I'm like yo I'm fantastic they're like, I'm oh, like, like I'm good. they're almost looking I'm at me like I'm crazy yeah I'm like, I'm you know chilling. what I'm saying I'm like I, I feel great like I'm, I'm I'm alive I'm here like yeah. I feel good like what can we how, what can we do how can right. we break bread together like what cool ideas can we come up with like I'm oh you guys know I'm always on that wave I'm always yeah. like yeah. trying to think of the new thing and like come up with a cool concept or like always trying to execute yeah. things and it's like you want that energy of of the draining people think well they'll feel I this is what I think they think well you know what's gonna happen they're, they're gonna feel bad for me and then they're gonna want to help me no, because God. you know my story I'm like that's not no. no they're not gonna wanna be around you period yeah, yeah you can only like my thing is I, for me I'm not even like hell bent on oh no complaining like if you right. gotta complain like yeah. get that yeah. shit out you gotta but get it all out. the time no but nah. like when, it, when it's the same when it's about the same that's what I'm thing, saying yeah. right. and when it's constant and there's no like actual progression to there's change no plan, it then right. it's just like okay right. so like what are you doing like exactly. how are, are you really unhappy cause like right. you might not doing anything to change you, you know what I what I noticed too about that whole thing mm. obviously and that Alice is right. Mm. You know, everyone has bad days. Mm. Everyone has stuff they go through, mm. whether it's financial or personal or family or relationship or just something you saw on social media that like made you sad or angry. You know, picture of Donald Trump. 
angry. You know, mm-hmm. obviously when <laughs> Donald Trump got um, elected as president, that was that probably like sparked some depression instantly for a lot of people, yes, right? It was like a and joke. yeah, it's, it's crazy. So anyway, so like we all go through stuff, and one thing that I noticed and also learned from that is we have the power to give power to certain things and our brains are for whatever reason and i think it's because of this fight or flight um you know chemical that we have in our brains but it's very addicting and very easy to just complain and focus on negative stuff Mm -hmm. the brain loves that because it's Mm -hmm. so used to it it's easy to it's fall easy that. it's yeah. it's in you're in fight or flight yeah. and again it goes back to what glam said i think it's it's obviously okay to voice your opinion it's okay mm-hmm. to complain like if, if you're if you have a friend that you want to vent to like that's mm-hmm. part of being a human being yeah. right but number one you're right glam you know if, if it's about the same thing all the time well now you have to figure out you have to shift from complaining to being solution based right how do and i fix it how right. quickly can you go from right. recognizing a problem mm-hmm. and then Solving fixing it, it. yeah mm-hmm. right so you can either like complain 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 until you get to that point where okay now now i need a solution right. or how quickly can you say okay i notice an issue and a problem and this is bothering me but yes. how can i fix this right? right and again from my experience you know fixing it sort of is the 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 thing that you eventually are going to do and want to do so the complaining that happens in between that is really just a complete waste of time yeah. if anything it's good to get it out but like you said atlas if you do that too much to people you're close to mm-hmm. it's going to get annoying I, listen know? a closed mouth does not get fed right right so like if you really feeling away it's cool to express it to, you know, people you feel comfortable with that uh, the conversation makes sense in that, you know, if you just meet someone the first day and you're telling them all your problems, like, that's just weird. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I, and we all have met one or two people like that. It's like, all right, you're getting way too close. Like, this is just yeah. weird now. But, like, I think exactly, exactly what you said. It's like the way I know the way I think and the way I th- I've always been problem solver. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's why I'm Atlas to plug. That's yeah. how, that's why you gave me the name. It's like, yo, this is what I have. This is what I need. This or that, or mm-hmm. I'm doing an event. I'm looking for a track. I'm looking for a venue. I'm looking for an artist. That's whatever yeah. it is. It's like, okay, cool. All right, all right. Well, let me let me see what I can do. Yeah, then, your brain is immediately thinking of how do I get to I, the destination? Yeah. Right. How do I fix it? Because the problem it? Like, is already yeah. there. The problem is there. The yeah, it already like, existed. Okay, I see that. I peeped that. But like, how can it already I existed. I think the yeah. problem solving brain yeah. is the brain that sees progress. 100%. But then there's other brains that are not so much programmed for problem solving right? and are more sort of like, let me just like meddle in this. And hold it in. It, let me hold uh, this in yeah. or, or let me just like complain about it and not be proactive about it. And, and I, I don't know, that's part of being a human being, right? Yeah, I think you have it. It's almost like... Um like even with sales, I always say it's like you either have the sales gift to gab yeah. thing or you don't have it. That's yeah. how I feel. It's like you're either born with it. Yeah, you can get trained. You can go to these courses and right. they'll teach you like, you know, uh, elevator pitches and, you know, right. stuff like that. And that's definitely good to know all that stuff. But at the end of the day, it's like you're either born with this thing. It's like a fire inside of you. I can't even like you just always want more and more and more and want to learn and just help people. That's right. just how I feel all the time. Um, don't get me wrong. There's some days I'm pissed and I don't, yeah. you know, I just don't want to talk to you know my phone is off and whatever. But like 99% of the time, like, Il, have you ever seen me upset? Barely. Ever? Barely. Like in all the years I've known you, Glam? No. 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 Ne- ever upset? No. Is it, has anyone ever I seen? Thought something has once, anyone no, ever yeah. seen Jay upset? Jay, no. Jay Z, oh, Jay Hov. Uh, no. And I'm not saying I'm Jay Z, but no. you know what I'm saying. It's like he's like he's got that thing. I'm it's like think, I'm, I'm not going to gonna show heavily. you, right? You know what I'm saying? And like to me, that's very valuable. Yeah, it is. It's very like valuable that. thing when you're not showing your cards like that. Right? You know what I'm saying? And let me t- let me tell you guys something just yeah. from my experience. Yeah. I'm obviously I'm at this point in my life where I'm like highly successful compared to 15 years ago when mm-hmm. I was like in mom's basement. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you right now, I'm, I have way more success, way more money, way more opportunity. 
I'm just as happy yep. mm-hmm. as I was in my mom's basement, bro. Making music. Making music all, all day, day, every day. Yeah. I'm equally, equally as happy as I was back then. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know that might be hard to believe, but I think that it's the reason why I am is because I was content back then. You know, mm-hmm. I was content with like, oh, I get to make beats all day. Mm-hmm. I have no money. I don't. I'm not in any relationships. I'm like kind of a loser. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm in my mom's basement. But you did it fine for love. I did it for love, and I did and, it. I did it because it made me happy. And it made you happy, right? And then what happened? And then that work it, it ethic came paid later. Off came later. See what happens with a lot of these people is that they switch the other it. way. They switch, they switch it. it around. It's <clears> like I want to do money because I want. I want to do something because I want to make money, and I want to. do... Right. Well, if you're starting off like that, Listen, it's already over. All the things I did, already over. I never, I did, I never did for money or for the thing. Right. So like, right. I made beats all day, and that let that led to me eventually making money, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I put drum kits out because I love doing that, and I was curious, mm-hmm. and I wanted to help people, and that led to money. So it's like money almost becomes like that final thing that comes mm-hmm. before the actual action. So all the actions aren't directly connected to making money. They're directly connected to love and passion love it, yeah. and happiness. And then it, and then they come. Mm-hmm. Every single one has been that. You mm-hmm. know, I've never created a, a you know, a, a business model that was centered around generating income. It was always mm-hmm. centered around Okay, well, I love doing this thing, this product or service. Mm-hmm. Let me give it, and let me do it because I love doing it and it's fun. Mm-hmm. And then, and then the monetization will come after that, mm-hmm. and it always does. So yeah. I think that's really powerful to to think about. It's true. Right? Even even like when I started doing events, like you know, we started the eighty twenty party back in the, a lot of the you know, and that, or I would do like showcase for artists. A lot of that stuff in the beginning. I was breaking even. Right. There were times I owed money because right. I didn't cover the bar. The bar guarantee didn't get covered. So I had to come out of pocket. But I met like 50 people that night. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, you know, I got, you know, 30, you know. Yep. Instagram- and it was something you put on your resume. Yeah, 30 Instagram followers from networking that night or yeah. from being on the mic and, you know, hosting it or whatever. It's like, in the beginning, it was like, there wasn't even I was just doing it because I was really having fun like I loved putting events together and meeting right. people and seeing the attendees the crowd the crowd that comes seeing them networking yeah even like with the past dogs they're like you're saying like you see now they're networking and you're seeing them and multiple cities they're coming to multiple cities now you know and it's like seeing the same people come back and networking and then they're DMing you or they're tagging you on Instagram yo yeah. I just did this track with this with homeboy I met at this event yeah. or at this past the aux uh, we're doing a track together yo it's on SoundCloud or Spotify it's like yo that's so yeah. dope you know what the crazy thing so and, and I don't want to stay too much on the past the aux thing yeah. but the crazy thing about that is you know from the outside looking in it's like oh ill mind like the ticket prices are two hundred and fifty dollars right. just to see you, blah blah, whatever. You know, there's right. definitely people out there that have like a strong opinion against that. Mm-hmm. But when you really think about it, if I did this event for free, right, which means I would have to pay for my travel, my mm-hmm. hotel, pay for Josh, mm-hmm. his food, you know, all the mm-hmm. all the different strip clubs that he always wants to go to. Of course, got to pay for course. Josh for everything. He loves those gay strip he clubs. Loves this guy. The, <laughs> the the mail on mail. Balls, boy. You know, I'm I mean, not, look what his shirt you know, says. Fine. I mean, I don't know. But um, yeah. Deek. <laughs> says, so Deek in the name. What does that say, Deekini? So if I did it for free, if I did these these past the auxes for free, mm. not only would I be losing money. But imagine the type of clientele that I was just gonna say that I would be attracting Forget if it. this was free. Forget it. This Forget is it. yeah. Follow Struggle me on rapper. Yo, yo, underscore yo, dollar yo, sign. Struggle rapper. Yo, Ilmai, let me. You know what? Let me. Oh, let me God. take you. Yo, Ilmai, can I send you quick. some beats? Yo, let's build. Hey, let's listen build. to this. Let's build. Yo, I'm my earphone kind of city. dirty, but listen to him. Listen, listen to one ear. Listen to one ear. I know I got some wax. Yo, here, let me play it on my phone. Let me play it on my phone real quick. Clean now. Here, here. Here, hold it. Hold it. So this is why the universe is so complex is because it knows how to maneuver around certain things like okay well Illmind does this event for free but it's not going to be a good event if it like right am I wrong in saying that 
the, no. the, the pass sense, off yes. wouldn't be the same. No, it wouldn't be the same if it, if was, it was free. free. It would. Plus, I would be frustrated because I'd be losing. I mean, you guys, flights, hotels. Uh, I'm spending at Come least on. a couple thousand. Come on. On the entire three day thing, flights, about hotel, hotels, food, travel from JFK, gay food, strip travel, clubs. I mean, that shit. Get, that shit racks up, man. <laughs> Uh, you know, Josh, you know, he likes to work out. He likes Camera, to, you know, video. eat, eat <laughs> seafood and steaks and yeah, stuff. The, you, you know, know lobster like, and all that stuff. All that uh, stuff. He's like, yes. So, <laughs> so that, I would be frustrated. I wouldn't be able to perform or be in, in I would be in a different mood, first of all, right. doing past the aux. And then I'm dealing with people who just registered the first 20 for free. Yeah, nah. So not I'm right. not saying that all of them would be not good people, but like there would be a higher percentage of people that would come in and it wouldn't be as good of an event. 100%. So the 250 price point not only allows for me to afford to be able to pay for flights and hotels and for myself and stuff and video and all that, but it also attracts a certain type of person. You know, well, if you're yes, willing... Well, serious. Yeah. You're willing it, to pay that. Yeah, then. if you're willing to invest $250 in yourself mm -hmm. to come see me, then, man, that's, that's just really liberating for you as well and you know and, and it also allows for me to justify you know flying to Atlanta for two days and then Tampa and then Miami and then mm -hmm. being being out for five six mm -hmm. days when I could be five six days in the studio mm -hmm. making music 100% generate income that way so you know all in all I sort of like I make a little bit of money but I don't make the, a shitload of money mm -hmm. for this to be like a main income thing mm -hmm. this is more of a I want to connect with people. This is the right thing to do. This feels great. I, we get to film it and throw it on YouTube so that other people can watch it who can't mm -hmm. come or try to come. And, and it's just sort of a win-win for everyone. And so th that's my whole point with this this mm -hmm. whole thing, with, with the the price points and, and the, the whole money um, conversation as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. You know, just it, it all the money comes later, you know? So it's just, it's just a special thing, mm -hmm. so. All right, guys. We're here with a very, very special guest. Um, really, really excited about this episode today. Um, I'm going to let this gentleman run through, uh, you know, a couple records that he did. Um, mm -hmm. I'm almost positive, you know, most, if not all of you guys have heard some of the records that he's produced. Um, so let's give a warm, welcoming round of applause to my man, June James. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Good in, man. Man, appreciate y'all for having me, man. Ill mind, all y'all, man. I really appreciate y'all having me, man. We in the building. Of course, of course. June. Um, yes, first of all, thank you for taking the time. You know what I'm saying for joining us today. Shout to Ty in Shout the out building. Ty. Chocolate you know? Ty. Chocolate uh, Ty. Known, right. known Ty for ten plus years. Mm -hmm. You know. So, um, man, welcome, June. Uh, uh, now, like I said, a lot of people probably know the records that you've done, but uh, why don't you give them a little run through of some of the records that you, you've done? Rich Pleasure, okay. I did um, YF and Lucci's uh, two biggest singles, Key to the Streets with the Migos in Trouble. Talk to him. Okay, look, okay, on, okay, to him. Did that Everyday We Lit for uh, YF and Lucci 2 with PMB okay. Rock. You know, both of them records went platinum, and then I did um, Yosemite for Travis Scott. That Yosemite is platinum. <laughs> Finest, and yeah. then you know we just did. I just did to put a date on it for little baby and um, Yo Gotti, and that's going crazy. You know, what I'm saying those are the biggest songs that I got so far. That's all you know, national, critically acclaimed, you know, award yeah. winning. So we we going up, man. That's good. How does it feel, man? Man, really, um, I'm numb, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm yeah. numb to the hustle. <laughs> I've been doing this for so long that it's just like I feel like it's just residuals of the grind. You know, what I'm yep. trying to put so much time in it. It's just the level I done reached to. So it's just now. It's just time to get to the next. Time level. Time to go to the next level, yeah, but yeah. still with the same hunger. Yeah, because man, mm -hmm. more. If anything, more. You know, more the hunger. Next level always require more of yourself. So exactly. You know, I get to gain more of myself. I've been in the gym more. You know what I'm saying? I've been, you know, just trying to get my my mind and my spirit right to just attack the next level that I got to go to. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So let's talk about the beginning. You know, those beginning stages. So yeah. what what got you into production? Like, what were you doing in the beginning, moving around? Were you, like, selling beats, leasing beats, or yeah, what was the deal? I, 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 sold, I was selling beats in high school, like, mm -hmm. when I was 14, 15, and um, I sold my first beat for, like, 500, and I just we just kept it going. I had stopped making beats my freshman year in college. Mm -hmm. Then when I dropped out of college, it was just back to the beats, back to the music and stuff. And it was crazy because, like, Everybody was freestyling, and, and in Houston, Texas, it was like a real big movement that was going on club movement. I don't know if y'all heard mm -hmm. all the little, like the Dallas Boogie songs, and like you know, hitting with the flex and all that. Right. I don't know if y'all remember that, but that's mm -hmm. when I like came into like, that's when shit was just fun. Like we was right. making, we was just making songs and 
in the house. Fifteen, that you know. Would 15. you say that stuff was like a big influence for you? Man, a real big yeah. influence. Mm-hmm. If anything, like you know, and I and I came up and I'm from Houston. You know, we got like our own like independent culture. Like we like screw, DJ Screw did a lot. You know, yep. S, you know SUC, Switch the House. You know, you got Michael Watts and stuff like that. And I'm from the North Side, so you know, my big homes are like you know Chameleon, Paul Wall. Um, you know, Slim Thug, legendary you know, man. And, and it's crazy because all these legends in my phone, I can call them right now, like brothers, and yep. they give game and you know, steer me the right way. But like you know, all them people were just big influences. But I started off really early, bro, and I just never looked back. Right. I, already, I already knew what I wanted to do. You already knew. Yeah. You set that goal in place ahead of time, and yeah, you knew facts. you were gonna reach it. Yeah, I knew. So it. being from Houston, was that sort of like the connect with Travis? Like, how'd you meet Travis with the Yosemite record? Man, I've been trying to get with Travis for like three or four years because we know a lot of the same people. Like you know, us being from the same city and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, matter of fact, um, one of my partners you know what i'm saying a mutual friend of my best friend is uh, is one of his road managers and like you know he had talked me up and you know with me just working and building a name for myself um i finally got ran into him in the club in houston mm-hmm. and um like i, I told myself i don't want no picture i don't want you know none of that i just want to you know get your email and we can just go from there right and you know got his email i sent him a pack of five beats and two weeks later the dude called me That's and said it. we got yosemite Amazing. You know so you, you um, ran into him at the club. Yeah. Like, yo, just give me the email. Every, I'm gonna send you some. every place when I get, bro, it'd be me. It'd be me. Like, I go do that. Mm-hmm. I don't like, I don't like emailing. I mean, I'm gonna get you, if I do get an email, it's gonna be me getting the email from the actual artist. So mm-hmm. you know who the fuck I am. I ain't gonna right. do all that middleman shit. If I got to, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. But um, now, nah, even with Lucci, you know, when I first heard of Lucci, I booked Lucci myself and brought him to Houston. Saved up my own money, booked him to Houston and took him to the clubs and we, we built up, you know, a relationship and mm-hmm. that's how we got those records, you know, with the Yo Gotti shit. Um, I got cool with his A&Rs and his people and that's how I got those records. That's it. Just networking, you know what I'm saying? That's Getting it. And that was at a time when he, before he was... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I knew Lucci before yeah. all that. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like we, we really, if you want to really, you know, go there, like, you know, Respectively, like we came up at the same time. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know, you know, I was popping in Houston and popping in Texas already, just doing like local records that was hitting the clubs and you know, you know, on the scene regionally. And he mm-hmm. was doing the same thing too. And like when I came out to Atlanta for the first time to work with my cousin, Stack Five, he played for the played for the Spurs and stuff. He was rapping at the time. Tight. And um, I just heard Lucci moves. And I was like, bro. And I always be trying to be you know ahead of the curve. Like mm-hmm. you know, you want to fuck with who finna be hot, not who yes, hot now. Exactly. It's be hard to get in the circles. So I was like, man, let me get with him before he pop in. It just was natural. That's it. Yeah, it See, we natural. talk about that all the time and yeah. on this podcast. Yo, and we, you know what I really loved, um, Ajun, what you said? When you said, like, when you approach Homeboy, you and you like, I don't want a picture. Yeah. I just want to come. Like, yeah, just give me your email. See, right, that approach. And we always talk about approach on here. Yeah. And that approach is like, as an artist, it's like your wall comes down. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you're like, you know what? I respect Homeboy for approaching me in like a respectable manner yeah. and not on some like super fan. Yo, like the phone out, already yeah. taking the picture. It was on some like, yo, busy, yo, yeah. business talk. You see what you happened with I mean? Offset at Target? Yeah, with that dude that just down. like man come on man but like, what happened you know, how can you be mad at that cause oh, it's like yeah, I just went to Target to get me some shit real exactly. quick you don't know what I got going on mm-hmm. nigga pull the phone out mm-hmm. exactly. I ain't never been built like that you know and a lot of them rappers and stuff like you know come from where I come from I really come from like there like the bottom so yep. like them really don't be rappers to me they like be like peers and the people I yeah. right. people I'm used to so yeah. I, don't, I don't get starstruck or nothing like that right. that shit don't impress me and, and, and they relate to you yeah. you know yeah, what yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. And, and on top of that if your beats are fire which they are yeah, mm-hmm. then it's like everything makes sense it's like yo let me just work with them and Absolutely. see what we can do you got a lot of people that be taking them pictures with folks and shit and you don't never hear nothing that come from it yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, when that collab coming out, when that song coming out, yep. you'll never hear nothing from it. It was just for the likes. And I don't be about that. Yeah. yeah. So coming up making beats and, and producing and stuff, uh, what were some of your influences? Like producers or producer songs lives. or people? Yeah. Man, at first, like, I was like, man, I don't got no influences and stuff, except like local stuff, like, you know. But chopping up with my partner the day, and I was like, really, damn, I really do fuck with, like, like for real, yep. Mm-hmm. Like for real, mm-hmm. big influence. Just how eclectic he was, and just how like just adamant he was about just putting the face behind the music. Lil John, of course. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Kanye before all the crazy shit. <laughs> <But> I still <laughs> love Kanye. You know, Kanye is a legend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, if you produce it, you just gotta respect it. Yeah. And um, those three, those three, I feel like really like made me want to be producing. Maybe not sound wise, but it made mm-hmm. me want to do that for right. a legend. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. You know like, what's interesting? Last night I saw two commercials with Little John, nationally syndicated oh, commercials. Yeah, see? Two commercials with Little John. One I think was T-Mobile, mm-hmm. and one was I uh, maybe like a soda company. I don't yeah. remember. And I'm literally just like. Look at him winning. Yeah, winning, winning right now. Killing it. Yo, I put him up there with Snoop. I put yeah. him up there with all these guys who could who are just so 
um, influential. Like a Shaq, mm-hmm. like Shaq. Yeah, you're oh, just a, oh, you're a public figure. If you don't like Shaq, you, something wrong with you. Like, yeah. You just have the, <laughs> yeah. You just have the personality. Yeah. Yo, and the crazy thing is Lil Jon can still put hits out. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he, bro. He, and it'll be relevant. He's DJing like techno music yeah, right now, right? right? He do be having hits that just don't be the same shit that we accustomed to. And it's yeah. going to be that, you know, yeah. get low, you know. Yeah. 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 Up to the wall boom, boom, with the he had a good streak. Though. His run yeah. was yeah. Oh, my God. I was always saying him and Luda and... Oh yeah, Usher should have did like a whole project. Did a whole EP. Wow. At least an EP. EP right? I always said they should have did a project. They already did. They gave us two. I was yeah. like, you feel like if they like do an EP now, this nah. shit would hit. Nah. It wouldn't be the nah, same. Right? It wouldn't be, it wouldn't the, be same, the same, man. Like, like they tell me they trying to do confessions too, and I just feel like that ain't the same. Y'all yeah. took too long. Too late. Yeah. Too How long. you gonna drop confessions I would, too? I, if it's hot though. No, no. Which it has It has the potential yeah. to be I'm agreeing dude. with you Because yeah. we come from that right. I, I'm yeah. rooting for it I'm right, just saying right. I'm, right. I'm kind of nervous like, ah. yeah. like man right. That's like yeah. a, a, the sequel Of your favorite movie Coming yeah. out It's like do I really Want to see that shit You know because we're excited But like someone who's 10 or 20 years Younger yeah. than us Yeah come on now Who was, who was not born really, in 2000 not really looking yeah. for that Exactly right Three years old when it came out Yeah born in 2000 Which is wild Time's going by so fast I know It ain't right Oh geez now It's crazy So So she was like, speak for yourself. <laughs> she was like, that's still my shit. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if you're if you're 18, if you're if you're 17 or 18, you were born in 2000. Facts. That girl, somebody you told turn 19, me. 19, you was born in 2000. That girl, Billie Eilish, yeah. was born in like 2000. That's yeah. wild, man. That's why I look at her, I'm like, what? That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> that's crazy, man. So like, I, I love your story because, you know, a lot of the moves you've been making, like you said, you know, you're moving around. Um, talking to artists directly, building relationships directly. And I see that same thing happening with a lot of the, you know, a lot of producers that are successful today. Thanks. It's all about building direct relationships, mm-hmm. but with people that aren't necessarily big yet, yeah. you're kind of getting that sweet spot where it's like you fuck with them and they fuck with you, but they're not there yet and you guys come and together. And they appreciate it too though. Yeah. Just like you appreciate it, they appreciate it like, man, damn, like you give me these free beats, you looking out for me, we really working, you know, I ain't had this right now. And then when they get there to that plateau, they gonna know they Right. So what's your ones. what's your opinion about the producer who let's say for instance there's a producer that's in the same position as you. Yeah. They meet this artist and this artist is bubbling but not big yet. And instead of working with them for free, they say, you know, you're an independent artist, you could have this beat for a hundred dollars or five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars and then that artist Here's might my say my thing about that, I ain't cut you off, but if you charge a nigga hundred fifty uh, fifty hundred that's that's penny pitching for personal. Exactly. And I feel like like I, you gotta you gotta know all money ain't good money, mm-hmm. and you know the relationships are worth more than money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you gotta just play the game like that. You know if you mm-hmm. really if you really know how to hustle, and know how to make you no know, juke music, bro. You gonna engage and know and fill out who them and who ain't them. Exactly. And that's how I play it, bro. I know who I want to spend my time with, with no meaning, giving out free shit, and I know who I don't want to spend my time with, meaning I'm charging. And that's just see that. that is confirmation of what exactly. we talk about. Exactly. I'm there's so a, glad you said this, that. There's a big conversation I'm we so have on the podcast a lot about the comparisons of okay if I'm a new producer I don't have no relationships yeah. yet you gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta pay your dues you gotta pay your dues yeah. but then there's there's this you know producers that also believe alright well if I make enough beats I can go to you know YouTube and I can I can lease beats and sell beats stuff like that mm-hmm. and then there's there's this uh, also this scenario where you're doing both where yeah. it's like alright I could I could make you know 30 beats a month 15 I'll sell 15 I'll I mean I know. feel like it's personally what do you want out of it now if you just exactly. try to make some money like yeah. some quick money like, I feel like that's quick money that ain't like long term I ain't wanna do that yeah. I wanna like really like leave a legacy I wanna exactly. like, like I wanna build a name that build that type shit like that so exactly. like, you ain't gonna get that off of you know, selling beats on YouTube and then you know contrary to that shit too it's like niggas that do that YouTube shit I can't tell you how many times I had to remake a beat, remake those YouTube beats for clients because they can't get in touch with the producer or they mm-hmm. right. sold it and it's just be like so what you really do it for right. you know what I'm saying and that's what I'm saying it's, it all depends on what you want out of it I ain't exactly. really that type of nigga like you know don't be wrong like it, it steps to everything I done did sound click before yeah. but then you know I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do. Right. You know, you know, and that's it. Right. That's how I right. played it. That's how I played the game. I feel like it's about what you want out of it. And some people genuinely, like we was talking about earlier, like some mm-hmm. people scared as hell yep. of the industry. And mm-hmm. they should be, because it's a motherfucker. <laughs> Damn everybody, right. But everybody ain't built for it. Yep. You know, and I, I look at it like that. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. I, lo- I love that. Go ahead. And no, it's interesting too, like what he said is, and we talk about this on the podcast all the time, you know, if you're a producer and you're not sure if you should like charge the artist, yeah. it's one simple thing you just gotta say to yourself. Do I fuck with his music? Yeah. If you do, don't charge him. Yeah. If you don't fuck with that music, make a buck if you need it. Why not? Make yeah, you know. Simple. That's it. Yeah. And you, you never know, like, bro. I can't tell many times where I done looked out for somebody 
And then they came back and broke bread. Mm-hmm. Yep. More bread than I was going to ask for. So yep. like I exactly. said again, you know, networks mm-hmm. mean, you know, create networks. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's on you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Man, I love that you brought that up because you, you're a prime example or one of the prime examples of someone who thought about legacy early. Yeah. Like from the beginning, you were like, man, I want to, I want to be that producer. I want to be the, the forefront. And, you know, when you're leasing beats and stuff like that, you're you're making the progress longer. Yeah, you're depreciating your value. You're depreciating yeah, your value appreciate in a way. Sure. Appreciate so that is producers listening, that's something to think about. Like, you know, there is a world where you could try to do both. Yeah. But I I personally am yet to see somebody who has done both exactly. successfully. And don't get it twisted, bro. I look out all the time. I have specials and shit like that where I do look out and, you know, I get off beats that I, that I have made before. Yeah. You know, I might do like, you know, hey, you come with a budget. I got to take care of you. Don't, I look out all the time. But it'd be so funny, the motherfuckers don't take advantage of it. So if you just like... Right. And then I'd be stopping. I'd be like, okay, well, I can't look out because it's like, I ain't really taking advantage of what I'm doing. Yeah. Right. So, you know, it's a very exactly. small, small, small percentage of type beat producers and those guys, you know, type. very small. I can think of maybe one off the top of my head. Yeah. And that's uh, Nick Paps. Yeah, right. Nick Paps is dope. Right. Nick, Nick Paps. Yeah. Uh, pa- uh, Papa Mitru. Yeah. I said it right. Good. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he was doing the Meek type beats. Meek was his favorite rapper. He did it for like two, he did it for like two or three years. And then finally... Uh, Meeks DJ yeah. mm-hmm. heard it so yeah. but besides yeah, but that again out. but that's like a needle in a haystack yeah, yeah, yeah it, it is needle it's a needle in a haystack yeah. you know you want to go that way good luck yeah. I want to go the other way and I imagine bro put all his time into that though Oh, 100%. So, so that's all he did. So fucking dope where the nigga who heard it was like, okay, we got to fuck with it. We got to fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? And he was yeah. prepared. Yeah, he was pre- yeah. Exactly, he was prepared. He was prepared. Oh, yeah, he had like, pff, I'm sure, hundreds exactly. of beats ready to yeah. go. Yeah. So um, you live in Atlanta now. Yes, sir. Uh, what's um, wh- what's kind of the priority right now? Obviously, more placements, more, Man. you know, working with other people, but what's that, what's on the horizon? That's the priority. And like I said, like, we trying to like... um own shit so mm. you know, that's priority and like you know we yeah man like, shout to Nipsey for that shit Nip, Nip, Nip was, a, was, was another needle in the haystack man, who, who damn, proved right, man. that mm. you know obviously you have Diddy you got Jay yeah. you got Nipsey just in terms of like these people understand ownership yeah, like and we all have literacy. financial mm-hmm. yeah exactly mm-hmm. so we have to you know, take advantage of that and really yeah. think about that. So go ahead. So yeah, but like that. yeah, me and my business partner AJ, like we we looking and you know get this land, man. Shout out to AJ and shout building. out to AJ. You know what I'm saying? Say Motherfucking LJ. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we know we finna we finna get this land. We finna get into that hay. Yeah, we finna get into that you know livestock, man. We finna get these. See, people, up people up ain't thinking about buying land yeah, right now. We on we on Not, whole, land and buy land, bro. Yeah. And then livestock. We, and then Did we get the, the rest of these rollers and all the shit that Come we really on, want. Yeah, man. But Come on. Then we gonna you know we gonna invest in pursuit. You know, so uh-huh. exactly. that's, that's the side hustle that we own and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But you know, nah, this, the goal's still the same, man. To be the best that ever did it. You know? Right. And we ain't there yet, so that's what we gonna keep going for. Exactly. So what's like the daily like? You wake up in the morning, blow. Okay. I blow. Okay. So I smoke. I smoke. I smoke. I ain't gonna lie. I smoke okay. since I was twelve, so they ain't gonna stop. You know that. You know that's it's about to be legal everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So that's, I mean. that's a fact. The truth of the Big matter facts. is, the shit is good for you. Yeah. The exactly. money is, and it's good for you. Yeah. 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 Green is green. So what else? Yeah. So you do wake up. You, you yeah, burn one down. And I burn then one like, down. Burn a couple down. Really, bro. We okay. Can't wow. just, oh shit. <laughs> said, Damn. Well, we okay. Not just one. Blood. Come on! Nah, exactly. I actually, no, that's a fact because he I, he was here about twenty minutes. He rolled two or three. Yeah. It actually, not even rolled. Pre rolled. They were ready to go. We, we like to be prepared. We're ready yeah. to go. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's, no, it's you're key. right. Yeah. But now, um, now we wake up. I wake up, blow. You okay. know what I'm saying? I play the video game. You know what mm-hmm. well, people don't know, bro. And this is really facts, bro. The video games really stir them creative juices, man. If you're mm-hmm. really creative, that's good. Know, that type of brain person, you know, that gets you right. No, that might be two hours. I watch my ESPN, yeah, mm-hmm. sports. Yep, yep. And yep, then we yep. make the beats, man. I just make the beats, man. I, mean, I might start. You know, crate digging, getting you know, getting ideas, but I don't really sample like that. I just just base shit off of like I'll be inspired by a certain right. song mm. from the past, and I'll be like, okay, boom, we want to do that. Or I hear a bunch of records and stuff, boom, I want to do that. Or I just be in time where I just be like, I don't want to hear nothing. I just make some shit for me. Yeah, mm. you know, and that's be it. And, I'm, and I and like I said, I got goals, you know, so I'm trying to make ten a day. You know what I'm saying? Put them away. And that might be- 10 like, beats a day? Yeah, 10 a day. Oh, yeah. wow. So it might not be like straight just rap. I might make like three rap trap beats. I might make three melodic beats. I might make some R&B shit. You might make some other shit. Mm-hmm. You know, yep. That's them 10 a day. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And you know, work out every day. You know what I'm saying? And that's just about it. That's the day in the life. We work every day. You know, yeah. I might, and nine, nine times out of 10, like my schedule is so hectic. So I'm pretty sure 
I got like a little event I got to go to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Strip club I got to go to. Interview. You know, interview I got to yep. pull up on. You but know? all that stuff you're doing is progress yeah, for the future. Day, yeah, we always, look, bro, we take advantage of every day. We don't do 24 sevens, we do 25 eights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's just what we on. But, but little, but a lot of people don't know too, like your process in the morning where you're smoking, you know, you play video games. Yeah. That's part of work too. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that's, yeah. Exactly. that's preparing you Hell for yeah. to get yeah. creative. Yeah. Yeah. We so talked about that earlier, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, yes. We're literally yeah. just talking about that. All the time. Yeah. It's a vibe, man. If I can't, if I can't be in that vibe, and I'm a Libra, bro, so I got to have a balance of everything. Oh, Shout out to the Libras if my shit, out there. If my shit ain't Absolutely. balanced, I can't do it. And like, bro, don't get it fucked up. There be times where I, I go a week without making shit because I got to reach. I got to recharge this. Yep. It's a vibe thing. Yeah, yeah. You can't always. Can't, it can't, can't, can't. If you can't, I can't, I can't force it. it. But then exactly. sometimes. But sometimes if you just catch yourself on that one little, it's be a window gap of time yeah. where you're not thinking about shit and you might just subconsciously throw that shit on. You'd be like. All right, yeah, I'm gonna hop yeah, on. Yeah, that yeah. happens so many yeah. times. Sometimes bro. that happens bro, too. It be, it be, it's yeah. like I'll be it's, pissed it's de- about some it's shit. It's definitely a window. Like I, you know, know, I a little I, gap of time where you're not yeah. thinking Damn. about it. You might have just probably smoked That's like when the best in the shit bottle. Like vibe out. You be like, I swear to God, you hit that on the head because yeah. I, I get that all the time. I be like, man, let me go just do this shit real quick. Yeah. That'll be so dope. Yeah, yeah. Be so you just dope. never know. Exactly. Right. It's a small little window. Yeah. Really low key. Like like. Two of my singles have been like that. Two like I did every day. We look like that. Yeah. I was like, man, fuck it. And then they put a date on there. Like that made that bitch in five minutes. Yeah, which is in a little sometimes little it be days. Like that. And that was it. So when you're traveling, what door do you use? You're doing everything on your laptop, and you're just like doing the yeah. hotel rooms. I know and I use, I know I use every doll okay. just because I, you know, you got to collab, and you don't got to be versatile. You never know who you got to fuck with and want to work with. It just be easier like when you know that. when you can be able to you know mm. correlate with somebody and be able to play with them. Mm-hmm. Um, but now nah, FL is. FL, FL is my main That's my Are you wife. on the new the FL 20 or? Nah we ain't doing it what? Yeah no one's doing Or is it 12 <laughs> Why are you looking at his face Yeah is that it? was the oh, meme His mean. face was Nah I'm yeah. straight I don't know. It was I don't like 20 I know that would be crazy I think 12's out 12 maybe 12 Yeah, 12, yeah but nah I don't fuck with 12 I fuck yeah. with 11 I've, I've been with 11 for quite some time I just like the interfaces And shit like that Yeah cause oh, I heard yeah. the new version Is way different than It's the old way different Don't get me wrong It's a lot of shit They trying to like Make it compete with Ableton Right. Things, I don't be. The thing about Fruit Loops is so dope. It's so many new. It's so many hot. You never stop learning that motherfucker. Yeah. I get with producers all the time, especially younger ones. They be knowing way more hot keys than I do. But mm. then I get older producers. I know more than they do. As far as right. hot keys and shortcuts go, but like uh, I'm still learning shit on that motherfucker, and I love it. I love yeah. it that it's like it's an untapped source if you know how to use it. And like you know, respect to everybody. You know, whether you're using Logic's Studio One, you know. Pro Tools, you know, I mean, yeah. everybody uses Pro Tools, you know. Right. A lot of stuff that I finish, we still jump into Pro Tools and make it sound right, like what right. it sound like. But um, a lot uh, of people don't make beats in Pro Tools though, yeah, like yeah. me. No, yeah, yeah but, yeah, but you come from a different generation where right. they did that shit, and, I, and it, a lot of my OGs did that shit, so that's what right. I see and I know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I still try to, like, I ain't gonna do that shit, but like, like for a shit show, like, I have, like I said, saxophone player come in, we run this shit through Pro Tools. My nigga do vocals, you know what I'm saying? You know, some melodic shit, you know, guitar players and shit like that. I bounce all that shit down, run it through for the loops, do my thing. Running back to Pro Tools, back. have an engineer do his thing, and then that's it. You know what I'm saying? So we just mix the best of both worlds. You know what I'm saying? But like, I, I came up, you know, watching niggas work the um the the midis and the analogs, the motifs, and the um. I know you fuck with the. I mean, you know about the Triton, but not what's the other motherfucker? The ASR ten. No, the ASR ten, but no, yeah. the Miko board. You know, fuck, fuck nah. with the Miko ever. You never nah, oh, that? oh, oh, I know that one. The custom joint <laughs> yeah, that Tim, yeah, Timberland yeah, was fucking with for a while. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I'm I never mess. With, I never yeah. fuck with it. Bro. And that was actually the first thing I ever used. Yeah. Tried to use, and I was like, Nah, I'm. Straight. That thing was like ten racks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. back then. Ten racks. My partner, my partner. Ten yeah. racks back then. Yeah, it was. It was a shit to have. This shit looked like a spaceship, and that used to intimidate me. It used to intimidate me. It's so funny because like. Where, I, where coming from where I come from I was like one of the first laptop producers mm-hmm. I was working in the studios when they did all, I had all that shit and I'd be like okay pull up the laptop and they'd be like what the fuck <laughs> hey what the fuck is going on like, yeah. Yeah, I can't believe this man just made a beat in 15 minutes on a laptop and it's jamming like, yeah, it's and then after that it just was a see from. that's right. the thing that's the thing I, 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 I'm not gonna say hate cause I don't like using that word but this is the thing I dislike about the OGs is uh, they're just so stubborn sometimes yeah. where it's like and you know, really passive aggressive. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> oh, like I don't use a fucking NPC. I yeah. use my computer and I do my keys on this. Like, oh, you don't have a real keyboard yeah, or like, yeah, come yeah, on, man. Like that. You don't need this. I'm like, no, nah, I don't. Oh, okay. Like, I ain't no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but at the same time, that's why I started making myself learn other stuff. So I'm making people uncomfortable. I don't like that vibe. Like I remember mm. I had a studio session with a producer that used um, Logic, and mm. we was really trying to like like have a whole debate while we was trying to collab. Right. Mind you, we didn't make no dope music because he was too focused on 
which was better, Fruit Loops or Logic? And I was oh, like, bro, man. can we just make the record, bro? Like, yeah, I don't care man. what you use, bro. You call right. me over here. And he's like, yeah, bro, you know, Fruit Loops is cool, but Logic is such and such and such. And, such. Oh, God, and he was like, on. I feel like you, the only reason why you, you know, and he said it so, like, he was really hating like a motherfucker. And I was like, man, <laughs> this nigga really just, uh, uh, uh just jabbing. <laughs> and, you know, but I just, you know, took it, you know, with a grain of salt, because, like, yeah. I'm popping. You know, you can't, you know, you cannot, you know, results is results. Yeah, results are results. You know what I'm saying? He's dope, don't get fucked up. But, like, I was like, he's like, yeah, bro, the only reason why, you know, you get, because, you know, you just know people. I was like, well, shit, that's part of the game. Wow. Nigga. Like, Mm-hmm. I do know people right. That's just resentment people. talking right there Oh that's yeah. hater That's yeah. hate Super oh, hater All hate, that stuff hate, but Super hater yeah. I love them all though when you, uh, when you make beats Do you start with melody or drums? Or it depends It depends, depends. It always depends like, like I said I'm eclectic So I really don't got no set Right Like I don't know what Same. I'm gonna do today yeah, I, I you just, just go into it. I don't yeah. know. That's why. Let the let know. the music dictate. Yeah. Every yeah. time, yeah. Be like, it's I don't it's fucking know. The it's yeah. I'm, like, sometimes I start show like, what the fuck am I finna do? Then thirty minutes later, okay, this shit make totally exactly. so it always makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Sense. It just exactly. goes with what you like. Yeah, yeah. I just go with what I like. Facts. Then you just keep building. But it. that's how you create your own way, it. though. Yep. You get caught up in listening to what's going on. So, don't get me wrong, just, you, you can get some you can get some shit off. Don't get it fucked up. Like I can got records off that sound like something else that I haven't been inspired by. But like a lot of times, bro, like the way to create a wave is just to focus on what you got going on. Yeah. Cool from other shit, but like, you know, like she said, just build and just you know let the music take where you need to take. Exactly. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I was it's interesting because, you know, the way you move, I love the way you move the like your talk, your business talk, ownership talk. You know, we we're all about that here. And you know, as a producer, and there's up and coming producers out there that feel like they can do it by themselves. And I feel like you're a guy that knows that you need a team of people yeah, like around you. you. Like your man AJ, shout out to AJ, bringing over there, brother. looking super fly, right? Like, <laughs> so how'd you guys link? Like, was you guys in high school together? Oh, like, was he like. Look, look, y'all because really people need to know this. Nobody ever like, you can't do it by bro, yourself. By my bro. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, let me break down the story for Let's y'all. Go. Let's go. Let's go. People need to know. How Jeans and the, and, and the Gato met. You know, we call him El Gato, you know, the cat. Hey. You know what I'm saying? He okay. Quit. But um, nah, like, we met through a mutual friend. You know what I'm saying? We was in the, you know, in the, in the uh, medicine business. Mm-hmm. And um, and, um, we just got real cool. You know, we stayed, we all stayed in the same apartment. And um, through that we um, we got just real cool smoking every day, kicking it every day, and you um, know it was crazy. Cause I had to produce a song for Plies way back when, like six, seven years ago. That's how long we known each other about seven years now. Mm-hmm. And um, the song came on. And I was like, bro, why are we smoking that table just like this? He's like, I was like, bro, you know I produced that. He's like, bro, shut the fuck up. You didn't produce this. I was like, bro, <laughs> run it back. And then my tag came on. He's like, ah, oh, bro, what the fuck? You did produce this. And then we just got cool from there. And then he just like, like. We didn't. We started off with a lot of folks, bro. Like down in Forty Deep, and it's just mm-hmm. two of us. Like don't get me wrong, we got right. we got associates and people that we still got love for. But as far as like where we at and just the grinding we put in, like nobody match us. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, and it's just like you know, it's only the strong survive. Like we'd yeah. have been, like I said, we'd have been homeless together. We'd have mm-hmm. been sh- shootouts. We'd have been mm-hmm. through everything together. Like genuinely through everything together. And so when I got my shot, you know, really, we came up at the same time. What he was doing, he just started blowing up and just attacking his hustling and it just soared. And it was the same thing with me, and then she was like, "Bro, we gotta keep the shit together because yeah. like, we, mm-hmm. we 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 bet each other." He's the one that came with me with the whole land shit. I wasn't even on that. I was just focused on the studio shit. He was like, "Man, we need to get this hate yeah. shit going. We need to get this lifestyle." Like, bro, and that's what you need. You know, iron sharpens iron. You need a motherfucker around you that's gonna motivate you. And I ain't had a lot of people around me that wanted to motivate me and just yeah. generally gave a fuck. Everybody was around me who just they saw the potential and just they had ulterior motives. Trying to take right. something yeah, from it. Right. Literally everybody trying bro. to take it. All, so yeah. it's like, and he was the one that was never like that. Never, never changed on me. Never faltered. And like. I done took way, way a lot, a lot, lot more L's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he been the one. That, only thing I can really call about dude, if I'm broke or something, like I can, I got to call him. I can't mm-hmm. call nobody else because mm-hmm. nobody else. Because I yeah. take care of everybody else. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. just the relationship we got. You know what I'm saying? So like, when I got my money and got my shit straight and then got my label and stuff, I made it my business part. I made fifty fifty and everything and mm-hmm. just, just because that's it's I love just that. the love. It's a love there. And I just, yeah. I got, I got faith in him. I know that we can make this shit shake and it's just. It's a testimony. You know, yeah, it's a story that's tight. Tell. We were talking about that earlier about like problem solving, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Like having that mentality of like mm-hmm. setting a goal, right? Do you feel like this, AJ? Like you set a goal and then you you figure out how to get to that goal. Problem solve. Yeah. Like try different things, and some things aren't going to work. Mm-hmm. Some things might work, yeah. but for every you know twenty or thirty things you try, one thing might work. Yeah, that'll take you to. Man, really it's like shooting jump shots in the gym, man. You gotta yeah. shoot them jump shots. Just don't look at the scoreboard. Yeah, everybody be looking mm, at that's the facts. scoreboard. That's why everybody be missing, man. Don't look mm. at the. Oh, you know. <laughs> Look at the scoreboard. Giving a real game. Real don't look up. Don't look, don't at, look the at the scoreboard, scoreboard guys. Texas lingo of me. Don't, don't, don't look at game, the scoreboard. Yeah. Just, just I you just gotta gotta stay in the lab, man. Yeah, stay in the lab. Take man. your shots. You gotta take your shots, man. Keep shooting. Get better shots. every Keep day. Shooting. Every day, man. Keep shooting. Marathon, man. Shout out to Nipsey. Uh
appreciate appreciate having you, man. Yeah, appreciate uh, y'all for having us. Shout man. out. Um, where can they find you? Like on IG and all that stuff. Man, you can follow me on IG and Twitter at June the Genius with a J. That's J U N E T H E J E N I U S. Again, that's J U N E T H E J E N I U S. Follow me ASAP. I'll follow you right back. Let's go. Um, looking forward to seeing more wins, bro. Goddamn mm-hmm. right. With you me guys, too, man. man. Shout out to AJ. And the thing we talked about Shout in the black June. room, like with the meat and all that, what, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing that. Take yeah, we're doing that. We're going to be in contact with you. Yo, Ty, yeah, yeah, Ty, yeah. hit me, Ty, hit me. Chocolate, Ty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to Ty. Shout, Shout out, out to June James, man. Clap it up one more time. Appreciate you coming through. Appreciate you so much, episode, episode 101. 101, baby. Oh, that's 101. two, though. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? We out of here. Peace. We out. Peace. 100.